forces at work keep the action going in cricket from the time bowler started his bowling batsman bowler and ball are constantly in motion muscle force allows bowler and batsman to position himself properly for the final hit different forces act on the ball at different times before it lands outside the boundary gravity pulls the ball down ball hits the ground with its own force it is easy to see forces at work in a cricket game but forces and motion happen all the time in your daily life as well you probably don't even realize it what are the forces you experience every day a force is a push or pull if force is strong enough it will make things move you can push the door or pull it quietly to close it or when objects are already in motion forces can make them faster or slower forces can change the direction of objects as well you can close the door by applying more force when you ride a bicycle you can make it go slow or fast depending on how hard you pedal when you hit a ball with a bat the force of your swing is transferred from the bat to the ball when they come in contact moving ball changes its direction and flies away from the bat in the air forces often work in pairs if you pull on this rubber band you can stretch it out but while you are pulling the rubber band is also pulling against you if you release it the force of the elastic rubber band takes it back to its original length if you pull it too much it may break as well here your force you applied was far greater than the force which was holding the rubber band together this is a wooden block this block is made of stone both are identical in shape but their mass is different mass of the wooden block is 100 grams mass of this stone block is 450 grams you will need more force to hold this block of stone than this wooden block the amount of force required depends on the mass of an object stone has more mass than wood so greater force is required to lift it and hold forces are exerted in different directions as well when a bowler bowls the ball he applies force in the same direction in which the ball is moving when a fielder catches it he applies force opposite to the direction the ball is traveling he can stop the ball and catch it usually more than one force acts on an object at a time the combination of all forces acting on an object is called net force then net force will decide how much object will move and in which direction when two forces act in the same direction they add up pratik is pushing the table across the room what will happen if vishal joins him when vishal joins him he can do it much quicker here net force is greater than the individual force applied by vishal and pratik what if they stand on the opposite sides which way the table will move who will win in this tug of war game when two forces act in opposite directions lesser force is subtracted from greater force the net force shows that the object will move in the direction of greater force this tug of war game the team with greater force finally wins units of force just like dimensions of this box are measured in meters forces are measured in units called newtons this is named after english scientist isaac newton who made many discoveries about forces and the movements these forces produce this ball weighs around 100 grams if i release it it will fall but i can hold it with my hand like this 
ball is pushing my hand with a force of 1 newton my hand is also pushing the ball with the same force of 1 newton but in the opposite direction as two forces are equal and opposite the ball is not moving force is represented by an arrow where the arrow represents direction of force and its length represents magnitude or value longer the arrow the stronger the force forces are everywhere force keeps the world moving when objects are already in motion forces can make them faster or slower forces can change the direction of the objects as well check with your surroundings and find out examples of each type of force forces are everywhere force keeps the world moving when objects are already in motion forces can make them faster or slower let us explore types of the forces we interact with gravity when you drop a ball it falls to the ground when you throw a ball up in the air after some time it falls on the ground too earth is responsible for this gravity is a force that pulls objects together gravity also holds the planets of the solar system in orbit around the sun everything on earth is affected by gravity all objects that have mass will produce gravitational force more the mass stronger the force you can feel the pull of gravity every time you walk on the ground pick up a ball or lift some other objects this pull of earth's gravity on an object is called weight though people sometimes use mass and weight as the same they are not mass is the amount of matter any object has pull of gravity on that object will give it its weight different pulls have different weights this is the reason objects weigh differently on the moon you will know more about mass and weight in the next standard magnetism let me take these iron pins what will happen if i take this magnet near these pins pins are attracted by a magnet magnetism is another force that works at a distance pins will stick mostly near the ends of the magnet magnetic force is very strong near the ends ends are called poles each magnet has a north pole and south pole when suspended freely the end pointing in the north direction is called north pole while the one pointing towards south direction is called south pole how about these copper wires will they be attracted by magnet no only magnetic materials like iron nickel and cobalt get attracted by magnet how about these plastic balls try it out and find out electrostatic force have you ever felt sparks fly when you've pulled off your jacket or did you get a shock when you touched a door knob these things happen because your body is collecting electricity the sparks are called static electricity electrons that pile up in one place or get collected in one place this is especially true on cool and dry days friction when you want to stop your bicycle you apply brakes brakes rub against the wheels and stop wheels from turning the rubbing that stops the wheels is called friction friction is the force that opposes the movement of objects sliding over each other friction happens because all things have a rough surface even things that look smooth have very tiny areas that are not smooth when one object slides across another these rough surfaces rub against one another this rubbing makes things move more slowly until finally they stop friction is good when you want to stop sometimes we need to lessen friction as we want very smooth movement do you know why we apply lubricants such as grease or oil at these places in bicycle 
when we lubricate the joints and chain of the bicycle it reduces friction it is because lubricant is a very slippery substance activity let us place these two paint cans on the top of one another i will try to spin the upper can it barely moves now let us put some marbles between the top and bottom can will the upper can move now upper can moves very freely do try this yourself and analyze your findings without friction this house of cards would collapse friction between the cards keeps them in place as long as they are at a steep angle same is true about this ladder resting against the wall forces are everywhere force keeps the world moving when objects are already in motion forces can make them faster or slower forces can change the direction of the objects as well all objects that have mass will produce gravitational force more the mass stronger the force explore this concept by doing activities we discussed